Hi, it's Kim, Kim's Perfect Jams. And um, welcome back. Uh, I am slicing bananas because, oh my God, you! I am thankful for the orders, don't get me wrong, uh, but I am sold out of banana jam again. So I'm making yet another batch of banana jam. And I was thinking, since we're doing these videos now, perhaps I should do a video on the banana jam and show you how I do it since it's not a common jam that you find in the grocery stores. So, um, I have to slice 30 of these bad boys. So let me slice these bananas. And once they're sliced, um, I'll get back to you. Cause the other thing that's good about this, if, if you want to make jams, you don't have to get, you don't have to have like big pots and, you know, stir over them forever. You can actually cook jam in a crock pot and um, bottle it up and can it the same way that we normally can stuff. So today I'm going to show you how to make jam in the crock pot. Okay, so I just sliced a whole mess of bananas. This is the sleeve from my crock pot. And it really, it's, it's, like, one, it's like a dump cake. Everything goes in at once. Uh, you stir it up to make, every, make sure everything's mixed up. Lid on. And it cooks on low. On low. For um, six to eight hours. So let's... Let's do it. So in go the bananas. I know it doesn't look like it, but it will all fit. I have done this many, many times. Okay, so I find that it helps to do the liquid next, because if you do the sugar last, then the liquid can help uh, dissolve the sugar. Juice, you could use water. I am a big fan of using anything that you can find other than water because more flavor. Um, so this is um, banana nectar. Uh, these were banana nectar. This is lime juice because you need an acid. Uh, it's no different than anything else that you would can. You need your holy trinity. You need um, you need your product. Oh, everything's just sticking today. You need your sugar. You need your acid, and you need your product. If your product has pectin in it, then it will thicken and gel. If it doesn't, then you add some pectin. But since this is cooking long and slow and we're using a thickening agent that's different than pectin this time um, bananas have natural starch so just like potatoes or anything else with starch starch is a thickener so that's what will be thickening this instead of pectin but you still need the sugar and you still need the acid and you really can't cut down on either one of them i know it's a lot of sugar but um you need it for the process to occur and i just realized i'm probably blocking myself so i will switch over and i'll pour in the sugar this way and here's the sugar no this is not how you would normally do it but i forgot to grab a spoon actually my spoon's in the dishwasher so um i'm just gonna break it down a little bit and try and stir a little bit with the knife. You just have to get, seeing the liquids coming up and the sugar's breaking down and it's all getting mixed in.
now this is ready to cook. I'll just put the lid on, put the sleeve in the crock pot, and off it'll go, perking away on low, on low, on low, for six to eight hours. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, uh, this morning I got up and it was, it was smelling incredible, it was looking great. When you return to it in the morning, or eight hours or, you know, eight hours after you do it, the bananas are going to be floating. They're still going to look pretty whole and it's going to look really liquidy and it's going to look like um, it still has a lot of liquid to cook out but it actually doesn't. If you take the immersion blender to it at that point or scoop it and put it into a blender and blend it down, once you break down the bananas and you mix it with the cooking liquid, it ends up being nice and thick. That is exactly where you want it. So now it's to the point where we're going to jar this up and process it. Uh, once again, once it's in the jars, um, water bath, um, uh, water bath for 15 minutes, and then you're done. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed that video. If there are any jams, jellies, or preserves you'd like to see me make, please let me know in the comments below and I'll add them to the list for future videos. A wide variety of jams, preserves, butters, and jellies, including the flavor you just watched me make, are available for purchase on my website, www.kinsperfectjams.com, and that's perfect with a K. A direct link to our website can be found within the description for you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. <laughs> and I'd love it if you'd hit subscribe so that I can continue to visit you every Wednesday as new videos are released. Take care, have a great day, and thanks again for tuning in. Bye-bye. <laughs>